Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Today I'm going to show you something uh, that's maybe a little bit out there or it will seem a little bit out there. But this is something I've alluded to in other videos and that is automation and batch processing of some of your real estate photography. So I'm just going to show you two or three really quick examples of how we can do this. So example number one, you shoot Flambian, you have uh, a number of flash photos of a scene. So this one we have a flash being lit off in the kitchen. And this one we have a flash being lit off here and we have some reflection happening there which we don't like. Uh, so let's just see what, what we can do to maybe combine those into a two image. So we could go like this. And right now I am VNC into a Raspberry Pi. This is open source software. You can do this on any Linux machine very easily. And I would recommend that everyone starts to learn Linux. Lots of resources out there for it. Let's get started. So we're gonna go. Okay, so here's the code we are going to use. Convert, so flash one being one of our photos, flash two being the other one, but let's say that we had six or seven, we could fill those in this way, or you could use a variable to populate this if you made an automatic script for it. And we're gonna go evaluate sequence, which is just saying take more than two images and max, which is take the brightest of all those images and overlay them onto a single image, which we will call our uh, flash blend, how about, and let's give that a JPEG. There we go, now it's gonna take a second. And remember, this is a very lightweight computer. All right, I made a slight spelling error in there. We forgot one of these, so let's just plug that in, number one and number two. And we'll do that again. This is one of the joys of command line processing, but when you do this uh, with a program built for it, you do the headaches all at once, and then your program takes care of it for the rest of the time. So that's one of the reasons why Linux is awesome. Let's hit that again. And all finished up. Let's see what this flash blend looks like. And as you can see, now we've got the lighting from the kitchen and we've got the lighting from here. Could have dealt with a pop in the hallway if we really want to be thorough, but I think that's pretty sufficient for a flash image. Now, what about if we have this mid-range photo, this high brightness photo, and this dark photo for the scene? What can we do to blend those with the command line? We can go similar to what we just did. Convert, and we're gonna take all those names, mid nf.jpg, light.jpg, and dark awv.jpg, and go evaluate sequence again. And we're gonna call this one, um, oh, it's gonna go instead of max, which was taking the brightest frame from each pixel, uh, or the brightest pixel from each frame. In that position instead of using the blending mode we used for the flash photos there we are going to use uh, a mean blend which is kind of like an average and then we're going to call this ambi dot jpeg and it's all done now let's have a look at that and let's compare it to our neutral photo So subdued contrast, but it's also brought in a lot of the window exposure. This is all now brought in and everything's kind of been equalized a little bit. And really that's what an, am an average should do. So we have that, we have a flash blend. And also one thing with our flash blend, what if we could programmatically get rid of that even? So let's go back here. For the flash, we're going to go back to that last command we had for the flashes. And instead of max, we're going to take that out, put min, which is just going to take the darkest pixel from any frame. And here we go. Let's see what this looks like. All right. So from running that last command, now we have this perfectly usable window image that has all the reflections of anything removed that's not in this ambient level of brightness. So that's a pretty cool feature that we can use as well. So we have this perfectly usable reflection shot that we can use to touch up any windows. Let's close out of that 
Let's focus on this blended flash photo and this ambient averaged photo. And let's do one step which could be making a very fast command line based flambient shot. We will go composite. Uh, we got put in our two file names. We're going to go ambi.jpg and flash blend.jpg. We give that a blend of 50 50. So it's going to take half of one photo, half of the other photo in lightness basically, and uh, mix them together. And we will output that as our fast flambient with the command line. Give that a JPEG. Now let's have a look at what this command line photo merging looks like. Totally open source, totally free. Here is our fast flambient in 100% view. With a good Lightroom preset on here, you have a very nice, reliable way of getting high quality photos for real estate uh, without the need for an outsource editor. And I think your clients will be quite pleased with the product. So command line editing for your photos in real estate business, part of the automation process I uh, am going to delve into deeper. Everyone can do this. It's going to set your real estate business apart. You will be more profitable, have more time for things you love to do, taking on more work, whatever that is. So thanks for watching. More on the way. Make sure to hit like, subscribe. Take care.